amidst all the suffering, I've learned that heaven is real. Hi, Guideposts. I'm Kate Bosworth. Hi, I'm Michael Polish. And we're here to talk to you about our new film, 90 Minutes in Heaven. 90 Minutes in Heaven is a true story based on the best-selling book, which has sold over 7 million copies. It is the true story of a minister who was killed in a car accident in 1989 and had an experience in heaven, only to come back to his body, which was very badly mangled, and he came back to a world of pain. Obviously, this was not only difficult for him, but also difficult for his family. I play the minister's wife, Eva Piper. I was very fascinated with the near-death experience, or in his, in this case, I wanted to know the struggle, and it was a true story. And when there's somebody living to tell that story, it was a challenge to bring the truth to screen. So much of this movie revolves around the sacred nature and the, the union of marriage. If you're there for that person and you stick it out through the darkness, then you can get through the other side to the light. The book was obviously his personal telling of his experience, which is the core of the story. But then also to understand from Eva's point of view um, what that felt like, to all of a sudden be thrust into a position that she hadn't been in before, to have that kind of tragedy happen in, in any capacity. Like, what would you do if you were thrown into that situation? And the fact that she handled it with such grace and fortitude is something that was really inspiring to me and I think will inspire a lot of people. One of the most integral uh, scenes that I had in 90 Minutes of ha in Heaven, and I also talked about this in, in the Guidepost story, is a scene in which uh, Eva comes in uh, to the room where Don is laid out before he goes in for surgery. And it's a particularly important scene because uh, I remember Eva telling me that throughout the whole experience, up until that point, she remained quite stoic and hadn't really shown much emotion, not for herself, but for other people. She didn't want to worry other people, which is to me quite, uh, quite informative as to the person that she is. But as soon as she was by herself and she was over Don's body, she just broke down completely. She had been a, uh, you know, a woman of faith before, but this was a moment where she said she really understood the depth of her faith was this moment. This movie wouldn't be here without Rick Jackson. And he started a production company called Giving Films. Giving Films is a company that will donate all proceeds from movies made to charities. Um, that's pretty unprecedented to think about, that, uh, that your ticket will directly affect someone's life in need. Though this movie, we hope, will inspire you emotionally and inspire audience members, we really hope that you understand that this is the gift that keeps on giving and that your ticket will help someone else. You know, emotionally, I hope this movie about Don Piper moves people in a way that brings them inspiration. It, you don't have to be hit by an 18-wheeler to understand everybody has their own personal 18-wheeler in their life and you're able to to understand that if you've been diagnosed with cancer or you lost somebody or something tragic's happened um, we have enough of that in this world that you're going to need a you need some guidance in this I, we hope that this movie does that for you it's not uh, coincidental that the release date is uh, September 11th this is uh, has been a very tragic day for many of us and um, we felt that in a time of darkness, this is the type of movie that can bring some light into a time that is very difficult. Right. And, you know, I also think though it was a time of real darkness, it's also one of real hope. You know, this is also a day now I think that we can look at and say, yes, but we did rise from this. And I feel like this is the type of movie that right. really highlights the importance of that. Mm -hmm.